Hey, 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 what's good, my good people? <laughs> I told you I would be back. Yes, you know what time it is and you know where you is. The I Am The Possible podcast experience. Yes, the place where we aspire to inspire the innovation of your identity. Once again, I want to welcome you into the I am the possible universe. <laughs> I am your host, Travel C. W. Lynch, Mr. What What. And guys, I am so grateful grateful to share in this moment with you so grateful to be back so grateful to be sharing in another season so grateful to be serving in another season guys i look forward to the many things that god is going to share with us just like when i preach on sundays right I know I'm the preacher. I know I'm the one delivering the message. I know that I'm the one, uh, you know, up front speaking. The camera is on me, so to speak. But make no doubt about it. We are all in the classroom of life. And I get to share. I get to partake along with you. What God is doing in our lives. What he's saying to us. And I just, I open up this season with gratitude, man. I am so grateful to be able to do what I do and to share this gift with you and to share uh, just in these moments where anything is possible. <laughs> Guys, this season is going to introduce some new things, new things about me, new things about you, new things innovative things that's right maybe uh if you've been rocking with me for season one and season two maybe you noticed that the intro was a little different we're still the place where possibilities become perspective absolutely but we're evolving we're growing right and so in this new season i'm giving myself permission to share as i am and I've been doing some reflection, y'all. I've been praying. I've been fasting. I've been seeking the face of God. I've been seeking the voice of God. And I've been reflecting on what it is that he's been doing with me over these last 20 or so years. And the truth is, whether it's through I Am The Possible or whether it's through my book, What Is Enough, or whether it's through my preaching on Sundays or whether it's through, you know, videos on Facebook or, you know, Instagram or wherever I share content, right, YouTube, at the end of the day, as we say, my desire is to help you to innovate your identity. I mean, nothing fascinates me more than the connection between how a person thinks about themselves and how they ultimately live. The human behavior, the human condition, the human mind, the human psyche. There's this amazing connection between the way that we think, the way that we see ourselves and how we work in life, how we proceed in life, how we move forward or, you know, are held back. I like to look at it like our perception of self. It's either a pusher or a puller, And it just fascinates me. And, you know, years ago, I really believe by faith that God said, you're my self-worth specialist. That was a title, a, a position that I had never heard before. And it's been prophesied over me when I was ordained as a minister that I would do a work unusual, a work that can't be defined in a dictionary. You, you can't find what I do. And so that's caused, uh, you know, within me a lot of turmoil, right? To be honest, I've, I've struggled for years to figure out my place and my lane but in these years that I've been really pressing in and getting still and getting quiet I think I'm starting to really hear 
and really see where God is leading me. And so I am staking my claim, right? I am planting my flag on this self-worth, this innovation of one's identity, seeing the value and seeing the significance of oneself, not in a cocky or conceited way, but in a way where you are confident, where you have a healthy evaluation, a healthy uh, engagement with self, right? A healthy experience of the possibilities that not only lie within you, but literally are you. So guys, I want to just share really from the heart in this season opener. I don't want to get too techy. I'm not going to share a bunch of slides. I'm going to share some slides, right? You know how I do. So if you're not on the tube, you need to be on the tube, right? Make it an experience. If you're listening on Apple, absolutely keep listening on, on Apple, right? Drop me a review. Drop me some comments, right? Let me know how uh, this information is hitting you. But if you if you got a computer, you got a you know smartphone and and you uh you go on YouTube often, go ahead over to I Am the Possible on YouTube and subscribe and hit that notification so that you are not only a part of the notification nation, but you can you can have that visual along with the audio so that we can truly have an experience, right? So guys, let me share, let me share with you uh kind of what it looks like here some of these new things uh and if you're listening right then obviously you're just rocking with me <laughs> um the first thing that i wanted to share in this opener man is this idea about innovation and my boys and i well actually young men now right my goodness time is flying man um me and my boys we meet every sunday and we have what's what we call boys club and we just we just come together we chop it up we you know we hold each other accountable we get open we share as as young men right and i see myself you know really pouring into that next generation of of lynch men so that a legacy is established right and carried down through the lineages and through the legacies and you know future generations right and we're reading a book by dr miles monroe and it's funny how when you make a decision when you really make a decision, when you really say, you know what, this is what I'm doing. This is this is where I'm I'm going. This is what God really wants for me. How he begins to bring things into your, you know, what framework, right? He really brings into view. He really makes you aware of things that confirm what he's doing in you. And so this whole idea about this innovation of one's identity, right? is really summarized here in the in the slide that you're looking at right here. Um, because this is in chapter one, actually, this is chapter one of the of the book that we're reading uh, by Dr. Miles Monroe. And it's um, it says innovation enables someone to see old things with new eyes hmm. and to combine them in new ways for new purposes. And if that doesn't summarize, I am the possible. I mean, if that doesn't sum it up, if that doesn't bring you home, man, I mean, I don't know what else does. Now, before I read the book, before I saw this quote, or before I snatched this excerpt right from the book, um, God had already dropped in my spirit during my fasting time to inspire the innovation of your identity. And then this comes right behind it to really put into words, to really articulate what it is that was birthed in my heart. See, I am the possible, this podcast, this experience, this is all about enabling you to see old things. And now I'm not calling you old, but you get what I'm saying. You've been here. You've known you. You've been with you since, <laughs> right? Since creation, you, you are you. But many times we're looking at ourselves in the old way, the way that we've always looked at ourselves. Maybe we've made mistakes in the past. Maybe we've done some things that we're not proud of. Maybe we're not happy about ourselves and we're not celebrating ourselves. We're not excited to be who we are because of things that we've done or things that have been done to us. And so we're looking with a old set of eyes 
And I am the possible, this podcast, this experience, this is all about new eyes, new perspectives, new perceptions, new understandings, new findings, new discoveries, right? I'm getting excited just talking about it, right? About you, of you. And then combining those things that we that we have always seen and maybe some new things, combining them in new ways, right? Reconfiguring them, readjusting them for new purposes. That's right. God has a purpose for your life. God has a plan and a purpose for your life, right? I learned that from my, my spiritual father. Shout out to Pastor Kerwin L. Manning of Pasadena Church, head coach and, and senior pastor, along with my spiritual mother, Madeline uh, D. Manning. Uh, shout out to Pasadena Church, man. Just the most loving church in the world. Uh, just the most loving people. My goodness. Uh, but yeah, man, you know, PK, you know, Pastor Kerwin, he taught us years ago, man, God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And so sometimes we have to see ourselves differently to be able to see what these new purposes are. Because maybe you thought you were here to just exist, to, you know, <laughs> breathe and to suffer and to, you know, sludge along in life and then to one day just die. Or maybe you just think that, you know, I'm here to just, you know, kind of raise a family, provide for them bare minimum. And one day they'll put me in a hole in the ground and, you know, that'd be it. But nah, you are full of potential. You are full of possibilities. You are full of purpose. And I'm here to help. I'm here to help. And so that, that actually takes me into my next, my next slide and my next point here. Check this out, y'all. Our mission here. And I say our, it's right by faith. I'm already speaking it. Yeah. Today I'm kind of a one man show, but that ain't what my faith say. <laughs> Come on guys. I got to be an example of this thing, right? I got to talk with a walk. You feel me? I got to talk with a walk. So I'm speaking by faith, man. Our mission, right? My my wife is helping me, right? She, she's my Bonnie and Clyde. And well, it ain't going to end like that. But you get my point, right? Ride or die, right? Because Bonnie and Clyde, they they truly rode and, and died together. I mean, it was pretty tragic. But anyway, let's not go on that tangent. Um, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, so I got my wife here. But I mean, I, I've, I've got a vision for a team. Oh, yeah. I've got a vision for a whole team, right? <laughs> the help wanted sign is up in the window you feel me and uh yeah man our mission is to share ideas information and individuals that will inspire you to think of yourself in a way that makes the life you want possible see maybe you've heard my testimony right many many years ago right pastor um eric brown he walked into my life. He looked me in the eye. I won't go into the whole testimony, but he looked me in the eye like a man does. And he said, Travell, you are a teacher. I had no idea at that moment, really what he was saying, but more than exposing my spiritual gifts, more than just telling me how God had equipped me and blessed me with a talent to communicate and to speak, he was telling me the possibilities. He was telling me my ticket to a better life. He was telling me my ticket to a more confident life and a more competent life. And now 22 years later, I am still communicating. I've written two books. I've started, I, I've started a podcast. I'm a certified personal trainer twice over. I'm an ordained minister. I have a YouTube channel. I create content on Facebook. I create content on Instagram. I've spoken to audiences all over this nation in different capacities, uh, whether it's, you know, uh, you know, faith based, whether it's nonprofits, whether it's educational. And I'm just getting started. Oh, yeah, my career isn't where I want it to be is it's, it's just getting started, but I soon shall fully transition. Oh yeah, I speak that into faith as well. I mean, I speak that by faith as well. Come on, guys, we gotta we gotta create right through our confession. Which brings me again to this next slide. <laughs> it's just flowing this morning, right? 
So guys, you know that you know at at the foundation of this of this podcast that we believe that the greatest form of self-development is self-discovery. If you're going to innovate your identity, if you're going to grow and mature in who you are and how you see yourself, it's going to come here, right? We believe through discovery. You're going to develop whatever you need to develop by discovering what's already there. I like to say before you level up in life, let's level down. Let's 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 dig a little. Let's see what's already there because God has already equipped you. He's already invested in you. He's already planted some seeds within you. And many times we just don't know what we have. So we're always focused on getting something else and we haven't fully utilized and maximized what we already have. Hope and pray that that makes sense. A few more slides before we get into today's content. Confess what you want to create. Proverbs 18. It outlines the power and the authority of our tongue. Life and death is in it and we can speak it. That's why earlier I said our team, although I don't physically currently have a team. That's why I said I'm going to soon transition even though I don't currently have a, a full time speaking uh, platform that's paying me currently, but I'm going to speak it so that what's current <laughs> uh, begins to conform to my confession. <laughs> oh, that a preach <laughs> that a preach. Oh yes. Come on guys. I create a whole, a whole message on that one. Letting your current conform to your confession. Oh my goodness. In fact, I think I am. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Come on. So confess. Confess what? Confess this. I'm about to learn something that will transform the way I think about myself and make, I'm sorry, and help make the life I want possible. That's an awesome confession. You don't even know what I'm going to share, but here's what's great about listening to a podcast or an episode of anything, right? Many times there's a word under the word. My wife and I talked about this many years ago. There's a word under the word, right? Sometimes um, you're hearing someone preach or teach or share on something and you get inspired. It ain't, it's not necessarily exactly what they said, but they said something or, or something was communicated to your spirit from what they said. And that's the word under the word. So it is good for you to confess. I'm about to learn something that would transform the way I think about myself and help make the life I want possible. Yeah, it's okay for you to want the life that you want. That's right. It's all right. Those dreams, those visions, they're good. They're good. And it's okay for you to want them. It's okay. That's right. That's right. It's okay. All right, guys. Let me check this next slide. I think it's already at the end here. Ah, yes. Disclaimer. <laughs> Our disclaimer. Yeah, I put a disclaimer in here. And the reason why I did... Um, Again, this is a new part of this of this platform. The reason I did is because I'm currently taking a coach certification course, coaching, um, getting certified, y'all. See, I keep see, I see, I keep growing in my ability to communicate. I told you, right? I forgot all about that, right? Well, I mean, I didn't forget it in general, but I mean, as far as me listing it as one way that I, you know, communicate it. Uh, but yeah, man, yeah, I'm getting certified as a coach. Uh, but you know, through this certification, I've grown in my respect to the work that, you know, coaches do. I mean, real certified, real loving, empathetic, caring, compassionate, professional coaches, what they've learned, what they, what they practice, the space that they hold for their clients is real, man. And so I just want you to know that I take that and I apply it to professional psychologists, I, uh, you know, you know, uh, professional counselors, right? These people who have put in years and hours um, of 
of practice working with clients and working with groups um, to help them move forward. And so I have a profound respect for them. And so I wanted to give you this disclaimer, guys, because I know my lane. I can learn this information, but I know my lane. And so it's a little different than your traditional coaching. And so I, I want you to know that the ideas that are expressed on this podcast serve only as a component of a complex puzzle <laughs> called human behavior. That's the best way I can describe it, guys. It's a puzzle. It truly is. It's a puzzle with many pieces and it's complex people people the psyche the mind it's heavy man it's heavy so i just want you to know that this is a component this is not the end all do all this is not all that there is to know as we go forward into this season i'm going to be sharing ideas and information um uh, that um, I've learned, I've been exposed to, I believe has great value in helping you to innovate your identity, to move forward in life, um, to think of yourself in a way, right, that helps and, and really cultivates um, a mindset that allows for the possibilities that you desire and that God's created you for to manifest and to, and to, and to be realized, right? Um, but they're only a component, man. They're only a piece of a bigger puzzle, right? And it's not that you didn't know that, but I just wanted to, <laughs> to share that, right? To make sure that we're on the same page. All right, guys, let's jump into it. Today's idea. And, and you know, by the way, uh, that was a pretty long intro. Um, this is just me kind of free flowing, uh, letting you know some of the new things happening on this, on this platform and sort of the new approach that I'm taking. Um, so in the future, <laughs> the intro would not be so long, but, uh, stay with me, rock with me. Um, all right, guys, let's get into it. Today's idea kiss. That's right. Kiss man. K I S S. Now I'm sure you've, you either heard of the acronym or you know a little bit about the acronym KISS, right? Keep it simple, stupid. Now, I don't I don't want to call anybody stupid, right? That that's not my MO. Um, but the acronym is very famous. People have used it, and I did a little research on it um, because God had given me an idea uh for this season opener uh to share with you. And so a little bit of my research here, I'm looking over here. So if you you're on the tube and you see me kind of looking away here i'm just kind of reading my phone over here to the right uh kiss is an acronym and this is me just kind of reading from a from a blog or from a source of information that i i use to get this uh research from uh so so kiss is an acronym uh for keep it simple stupid uh, the acronym actually was designed as a principal note by the u.s navy in 1960 the KISS principle states that most systems, right? Talking about military systems, most systems work best if they are kept simple rather than made complicated. <laughs> Therefore, simplicity should be a key goal in design and unnecessary complexity should be avoided. Ooh, that's heavyweight right there, man. So they found out, right? Listen, the best way for us to teach our soldiers, the best way for us to teach our men or women, right? Who are serving, the best way for us to get the job done, right? Is to keep it extremely simple. Now these military tactics and, and um, you know, all of their, um, you know, war strategies and training, right? I'm sure it can be um, perceived as being complicated complex hard to remember hard to you know deal with and they looked at their you know training regimen and they looked at their you know their military plans and said hey the best way that we can get this information to people who need to have it is for us to keep it really simple so they came up with this acronym man just keep it simple stupid don't don't mm -mm, don't 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 complicate things right 
Well, guys, in this season of my life, this summarizes exactly where I am. And so again, as an intro to this season, we're going to keep it simple, but not simple, stupid. We're going to keep it simple, self, <laughs> right? That's just me just keeping with the acronym. But, you know, self is you, me, us. Keep it simple, self. So we're going to keep this idea of, I, um, of, of, of innovating our identity uh, while it could be complex and while there's a lot of components to it and there's a lot of, you know, framework and, and, and just inner work and, and there's a lot of depth to it. My job is to keep it simple because what good is a podcast? What good is a platform of communication? What good is a conversation that I really want to have more, more often than not? What good is it if you walk away and you don't understand anything, right? I remember in elementary, it was all about comprehension. You can sit in the classroom for hours, but if you don't comprehend anything, then what good was it? I can read a book from cover to cover, 500 pages. And then someone asked me, so what did you get out of it? And I said, I don't know, but I read it. Mm. <laughs> right? So we're going to keep it simple, self. That's right. All season long. That's my theme. And so we're going to have a very easy going, straightforward approach. We're not going to skip on quality but we gonna keep it simple when it comes to quantity in the past i've i mean i've come with a hundred slides and i've you know i've gone on for hours man sometimes i'll look up in the clock i'm like man i've been talking for an hour it's not necessarily bad it's just where i was at that time but now you know i'm evolving i'm changing so as i evolve and as i change the platform evolves the platform changes and i hope and pray that you not only appreciate the changes that I'm making, but that they serve you, right? I really hope and pray that the shorter time, these episodes are gonna be shorter, but they're gonna be more conversational. They're gonna be more focused uh, because my aim is to serve you, to maximize my aptitude, right? for communicating transformative information and ideas. That's a confession I make every day. I write it down right here in my little journal. I write it down every day. That is my daily aim. How can I maximize my aptitude, my gift, my talent for communicating transformative information and ideas? And I, and I share that not as a brag, but again, as an example, because someone's listening right now and you need an example of someone who's saying, yeah, I don't have a million dollars yet, but I'm going to treat it like I'm making a million dollars. I don't have uh, a million subscribers on YouTube, but I'm going to treat it like I do. I don't have a million Facebook friends, but I'm going to treat it like I do. I don't have a, a million uh, listeners on my podcast you know, platform yet, but I'm going to treat it like I do, right? And so wherever you are in your life, maybe it's time for you to treat whatever it is that you're doing like you did. <laughs> Perhaps, right? All right, guys. So a few more things that I want to share before I shut this one down. Um, this is going to be about coaching through conversation. Earlier, I, I shared with you that I'm taking this coaching certification. And it's not necessarily to become a traditional coach, um, like a therapist or like a one-on-one -on -one coach. I mean, some of that may be, may be a part of it, right? I may have opportunities to do that. Um, but I really envision increasing my skill sets and my awareness and my, and my respect for the human uh, psyche and the human condition and human behavior so that I can better serve through what I do best, which is podcasting and speaking, right? And motivating and content creation. Um, but I'm open to whatever God wants to do, right? But I really want to have conversations this season. So I'm here in my chair, right? Last season, I was coaching from the couch. <laughs> Coach couch, I was calling myself, right? Well, now I'm in a chair. I'm more comfortable in this chair. This chair feels better. Yeah, it does. <laughs> my back feels better and my posture is better. And I, yeah, so I'm going to coach 
through conversations from my chair. Still got my C's in there, right? <laughs> that, that's just a preacher in me. That's just a preacher in me. Uh, but yeah, I met, a, I met a season in my life, guys. I met a season in my life where I want to have more conversations. Loving, empathetic, respectful, calm. Mm. Uh, inquisitive, uh, innovative, insightful impactful influential <laughs> see now i'm running on my eyes but i want to have a conversation because my life has always changed in and through conversations they really have over the years men and women have had conversations with me and it's led to my life changing and so in this season i want to i want to do that with you so that's really a lot of it, if not all of it, guys. I want to start wrapping it up here, man. We are at the 30 minute mark. I want to start wrapping it up. I'm not going to be obsessed about the time, but I'm definitely going to be focused that my intention, my aim is to keep it, you know, sub 30. <laughs> I want you to be able to get it, digest it, comprehend it, and keep it pushing. So yeah, we're going to keep it simple. Self. All right, guys, as always. Um, I'm asking for because I need I need your support this is not a one man show I can't do it on my own so if you would if you find value in this platform in what I'm sharing the information um, the ideas the individuals that are shared and highlighted on this platform if you find it of value will you help me out number one will you tell someone about it where the word of mouth is still number one nothing beats it word of mouth is amazing it is still the number one way of winning someone over uh, or making the sale right i've been reading some books and right i'm learning everything is a sale right everything is a sale pitch right even jesus right sold us <laughs> on the need for a savior and he was right <laughs> right so i mean i mean listen there is nothing that is not a sale everything is selling um so let me sell you right on supporting me guys this isn't this is not about me necessarily yes i'm included i'm involved but if you're finding value in this if you don't absolutely love who you are if you don't absolutely accept and appreciate who you are if your image if your self-image if your self-idea isn't healthy and isn't where you want it to be and you think and you believe that when you listen to this you know podcast you're motivated you're inspired uh you are enriched you are empowered to see yourself differently you are empowered um to do things that you never you know thought possible then there's value in it and if it was, you know, if it was valuable for you, then it's it's going to be valuable for someone else. And there's people all over the world. Someone's praying right now. Not for me. They're praying for the information. Oh, God, if you're real, send something, send a sign. Help me out. Show me something different. And I just believe that I'm God's communication channel. Right. That's just one of the one of the I ideas that I have of myself as a communicator. I am a channel in which or through which God communicates. I I open my heart and my mind to God that he might communicate something of impact and of influence and of 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 insight and inspiration through me. And someone you know might need that inspiration. Someone you know might need that information. It's not a guilt trip. It's just real talk. Because our human condition is shared. It's not isolated. It's not just you. So number one, tell someone. Number two, leave a comment. Through your comments, through you sharing what you think and what you feel and how something has hit you, or even if you disagree with it, these are all things that help me to make better content. I'm not afraid of criticism. I'm not afraid of a bad review, 
right? So whenever you want to share, leave me a comment, leave me a, a, a review, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Apple, you know, podcasts or wherever you're listening. If they have a, a comment section or a review section, or you can email me info at I am the possible.com info at I am the possible.com. Hit me up with a comment, share your thoughts, share your ideas, ask me questions, give me suggestions for other topics. Engage with me, talk with me, help me because I'm here to serve, right? Number three, YouTube, head over there, man. Subscribe, hit that notification, get in the nation. I am the possible, just type it in the search bar or just type in my name, Travel C. W. Lynch and get on the tube and watch for the experience of a lifetime. <laughs> and then lastly, guys, Apple, Apple Podcasts, right? Number one podcasting platform in the world. If you are already on Apple, awesome. Subscribe, download each week. Um, if you're not, then, you know, really what I'm saying is whatever platform you're on, right? Uh, subscribe to the plat uh, subscribe to the podcast um, so that it can build up its listenership. It can build up its ranking. Um, it can be exposed to more people, right? Again, that's a way for you to support the work that I'm doing. And I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, that's it. I love you guys. I am praying for you guys. I believe in you guys. Until next time, until next week, go out today. Find a way to be why. It's possible. Peace.